Hello student. In this video, I am going to discuss about the system stakeholders. Now, what is stakeholder? Stakeholder means suppose we are designing or we are involved in a system or a information system, then which are the parts or community involved in that system? So obviously with any system there will be stakeholders like to run an university like ADBU we need to have stakeholders like you are the one like student is one of these stakeholders faculty is one of the stakeholders like uh, administrative people one of the stakeholders there are management which will be also stakeholders like that in an information system also there need to be stakeholders now what type of or how many type of stakeholders can be in a information system so to discuss that let us go through this chart it will give you the basic view of the stakeholders and the and their purpose with the system with the information system like here you can see this side this is these are players or we can say these are the stakeholders and this side these are called process means what are the process associated with those stakeholders now go through one by one so from this end, this end flow will be go as a business perspective. Okay. Suppose we are producing some product using an information system. So in that case, that system owners, what he, what that the stakeholder will do? What the view of system owners for the information system? System owners pay for the system means he provides the money to be to be built and operated and set the vision and priorities for the system. Hence, they view an information system in terms of cost and benefits to solve problems and exploit opportunities. So those are system owners which provides the money and which looks after the cost and benefits of the information system now second one this is the first one second one is the system users now what they view in this what what there's view of the information system system users define the business requirements and expectation from the system hence they view an information system in terms of the functionality provided to their jobs or ease of learning or ease of use that system users might be of different types we'll go through that in later part of this video we'll go through the in detail about system owners also but try to understand the basic thing about system user is that they view the information system as a or in terms of the functionality that the system can provide that the information system can provide it might ease their job of the user it might give them ease of learning it might give them ease of use means using that information system that user can gain something uh, that user can help can get help or the that user can get to know how to do some job in an efficient way like that so this is the second stakeholder third stakeholder is system designer so what system designers view of the information system system designers translate the whole business requirements into a physical technical solution 
till this point we are only thinking about cost benefits and use of the functions but we are not thinking about the design part but this designer stakeholder will design according to the needs of the owners to gain benefits and to explore the opportunities and also the designer will think from the system user's perspective also so that the technology that they are going to develop through that information system is feasible one which maintains the business and which maintains with the user's requirements hence the view, the view and information system in terms of design blueprint to guide the construction of the final system so system designers try to create the blueprint so that that lead to that blueprint lead to a final system and fourth the fourth stakeholder is system builders so ultimately this is the last level from business point of view but this is the first level from technology point of view where system builders construct deploy maintain the information system hence they tend to view an information system in terms of actual working hardware and software so that they can implement the actual system according to the blueprint given by the system designer so what are the that is their involvement stakeholders involvement in different part and what are the purpose or what are the processes this side you can see system owners initiate the system system user try to analyze the system or try to use the system to know the system in that way they analyze the system in system designers they design the system and system builders they implement system implementation so this is the chart having different purposes for different stakeholders associating with different system processes so first but you can see other than this system user who is the system analyze analysis who do the system analysis part but one major stakeholder that is system analyze system analyst is missing or why that missing is there any reason we'll try to get to know that in upcoming videos means system analyze is required always but how they is how that stakeholder involved in this way we need to know but first we go through these two stakeholder in this video system owners and types of system users so basically we are, we have already gone through the basic idea of system owners so so for any information system large or small there will be one or more system owners try to remember that there might be one or more system owners so their main task is to manage the system so for any kind of like medium or large information system system owners are usually middle or executive managers so they will try to assess the cost and benefits and according to that according to that they will manage the whole system or you can say they will initiate and they will run the system and second one that is system users we have also discussed this in the third we have seen previously but we need to know what are the types of system users first there is internal system users 
which are like clerical service workers, technical professional staff, supervisors, middle managers, executive managers, and there might be another part that is external system users, which these are the customers, suppliers, partners, employees. So, by the names of the of these different users, you get to know why these are divided in internal system user and external system user. Because these are the users who will be involved during the creation of the information system. And these external system users actually will involve after that system developed means customer will use the system for their purpose supplier will supply the system to the customers there will be partners to that information system management there will be employees which will work with the external system Again, internal system users are employees of the business for which most information systems are built. As I have discussed, these are the users which actually works inside that information system development institute or you can say company or you can say business. In that business, they work. Internal users make up the largest percentage of information system users in most businesses. For example, clerical or service worker, most, uh, most of the fundamental data in many businesses captured or created by these workers. We often heard that there are lots of data entry people do the works to enter the data, to maintain the data. So these are the people who try to do that. These are the users who maintain the data in the business. Okay, then there is technical professional staff and that consists largely of business and industrial specialists who perform highly skilled specialized work. Example, lawyers, accountants, engineers, scientists, market analysis. So those type of staff will be another user. There will be supervisors, middle managers. which might be short term, which might be long term, okay. And there is external system users, we have already discussed customers. So one thing you need to focus here is that any users from this part will become external if that user buys that, buys that information system or the software or the product from that business then they will become an external users also not only any other general people and there will be suppliers there will be partners and there will be employees employees means you might be uh, you might get confused that here also lots of employees are there but why these employees these employees actually concern about any other employee who works in different businesses but use that system okay so this is all about in this video i have discussed this chart different stakeholders and in descriptive way about system owners and system users in next video i'll try to explain more about system designers system builders and about system analysts thank you